What's up, everybody? My name is Aaron. I'm the Brick Scavenger. It's tile day here at the Lagona 500. We are prepping this race course. A whole bunch of tile came in the mail. Let's smooth out this course so the marbles can roll nice and clean. Here we go. All right, so working our way backwards, we've got the villainous area uh, elevator here. Some medium nougat smoothed out tile track, and then just a bunch of studs that need to become racetrack. I got a bunch of tile in the mail. Let's see how much of this track we can get tiled because we're getting close to having the full loop. Let's go. Bad news. I'm really, really bad at estimating how much tile I'm gonna need. Holy cow, does this thing blast through some tile. Uh, so another order is going to have to be placed so I can finish tiling this. We're also going to need bridges to get to the whack-a-mole and off the whack-a-mole. I have an idea for that. We can talk about that in a second. But here is going to be the bright light orange runway with the deer. There will be some trees in here. All this gray is going to get covered up probably by green uh, but the marbles will come off the slide and then, you know, venture down. But, so we've already got, okay, so we've already got the carrot top uh, marble elevator. How absurd is the idea of a carrot bridge? I have no idea if this will work. But, we got the studs here, or the stud on the side pieces here. Can we connect carrots together and create, oh, you can't see it, and create a carrot bridge? Will they be strong enough to hold marbles? Is it too bumpy for the marbles to even go down? I don't know, but I think a carrot bridge would be really cute. So I'm going to try building it and then we can test it with some marbles and see what happens all right here's a look at the sort of carrot bridge prototype uh, a couple of things these side walls are absolutely necessary to prevent marbles from falling off the sides and this track is like you know from carrot to carrot really bumpy so it slows the marbles down i don't know if i'm gonna have to find a way to kind of make it a little steeper you know, uh, or what, but I don't want marble stopping on the carrot bridge, but let's try a couple starting with the slide and see what happens. Yeah, look at that. Wow, we're on our way. Look at this right here. Oh, it just creeps over. Nice. We need to get marbles coming off of these three elevators to these three slides. So we're gonna work on that next. Um, kind of two choices here. In theory, you could force the left-hand marble here into the left-hand slide, the center one into the center slide, and the right into the right. Or you could just have all the marbles kind of dump into a collection area where they then spread out. And, you know, it's entirely possible that there's crossing of the streams here where the left-hand marble ends up in the center slide or whatever. Either way, it's got to be downhill and it's got to, you know, transition 100% of the time. So we're going to work on this and see what we get. All right, here's kind of the first prototype. We've got the bright light green teeth to help split the marbles and force them into certain spots, uh, which you know then perfectly, hopefully, funnels them into the slides. I got some marbles queued up here. Let's pan away and see how this does. So marble down the middle. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's a fail. Well, as you saw, that was a failure and few curse words came out so I, <laughs> I edited that part of the video we're back at it again but I actually added some uh lengthening tiles in here which 
in theory fit, you know, between the teeth or between the carrot tops in hopes that those things, those little kind of planks, the tiles will force the marbles down. So let's try again. Okay, so here comes a marble that falls in. See how that tile right there is gonna hopefully force that marble out. There we go, that's better. All right, let me give you a different view now. All right, trying again with the full view here. So we're gonna spin this thing. Obviously the motor will do this, but here come marbles. Let's see if they'll go down the middle, outside wide, goes down the middle, down the middle. I don't know how frequently a marble is gonna come down this one based on this, because this probably more frequently is feeding to the middle, but that's okay. Uh, we might be able to shift it a little bit, so this is more centered on that, but I think we're pretty close. I need a tile right there, obviously, to clean up some mess, but uh, that's pretty good to transition from elevator to slide. Nice. All right, so here we are. We've got a pretty smooth track that brings us down to the carrot bridge over into the mushroom whack-a-mole. I brought this whole plate up flush with this. This is just gonna be a little drop off here. This is gonna need some decent speed coming off of mushrooms because the mushrooms are gonna make the marbles stop and they're gonna need a reason to kinda, you know, get going again. So obviously some tile work to be done there. We're waiting on that to come in. I placed another order. This is tiled. And then we've got a whole bunch more tile work to do right here. And then this turn is looking pretty good, although obviously it needs more tile, which will then go here. So we've got a couple things. Obviously we've got this little gap right here that needs addressing. I'm not sure what I wanna do with that gap just yet, but that's gonna be the next step. I do have some concerns because when the marble comes off of this, it's gonna have this like four fence straightaway right here where it's gonna have to have enough speed to get past that and make the turn because this is all downhill going this way. So in theory, a marble that is right here that has no forward momentum will want to go this way because of gravity and then we'll get stuck. So I gotta think about how to handle that. You know, maybe some tests will suggest the speed coming off of this will be enough that momentum will carry it past that, I'm not sure. But tile work, tile work, that is on the way in terms of mail. So we're waiting on that. So this little gap is what we've got to address now. As much as I'd like to do something clever and cute right here, I just don't think I can afford to lose marble speed right here. So I'm just thinking a little river. We'll have uh, the marbles, you know, splash through a little river before they continue on. I don't think we can really test this because I don't have tile here, but let's just see what happens anyway, just for fun. We'll drop some marbles down and away they go. Over the carrot bridge. Yeah, so they're just gonna, you know, they need obviously uh, tile here to be able to get through this area. So we unfortunately won't be able to test this until more tile comes in. I'm not too worried about it other than this little bit right here, but I do think they're gonna have enough speed coming out of the mushroom whack-a-mole that they're gonna blast through it. They may even smash into this back fence before getting into the meat grinder. We'll see. But man, guys, we are getting close now. Look at this. We go from Grave Digger up Carrot Elevator, down the slides, through this area, down some tile work still to be needed. But other than that, it goes turn the corner, meat grinder, drop into the next elevator. And then we just need the like volcano mountain drop. And guess what? That package is here. So we're gonna work on that tomorrow. I'm really excited, but that will get us pretty much all the way to a full lap for the marbles. That is exciting. 
I don't know if I got enough mountaintop rock pieces to get us this far. That's a six foot, six and a half foot uh, table right there that we have to cover. So we're gonna find out, but tomorrow is rock day. For now, we'll see you next time. Thanks for being here, guys. Appreciate you.